Hey guys, what's happening? Um, I know I've been away for a little bit. I've been working on some projects on the side. I've been trying to <coughs> been trying to stock up like some video files for the Nuzlocke. If you guys are watching that, I know you guys have been giving some good feedback about that, which is great. Um, just want to give you like a little update video. I'm still doing those, and I'm working with Nick, other Nick, and we're we got we have a layout coming through within the next few episodes which is awesome and the guy who made it I'm not sure what his name is on top of my head but I know he's I know Nick knows him and that guy is awesome I have the layout it looks really sweet um, you guys will probably enjoy it and I'll try to get some quality changes with that going I know I have a cord coming in from a headset so I can record better audio without having like being too quiet or too loud or any static feedback or something if you guys heard any of that but I've got that coming but in the meantime um, I got some some tins here I got in the mail I got like three of them and I'll just do some pack pulls and see what I can get if you guys play the TCG of Pokemon awesome if you don't awesome whatever um, I play a lot of TCG in the spare time I don't really record it because it's I don't think it's that like worth noting but I'm trying to build a deck to play in real life so I can take it to like, you know, just local card shops, play the local tournaments or something, and just get better. Because I've been trying to get back into it for a while now, and it's, I don't know, just something I like to do. Something I have a little bit of money to spend on. Nothing too expensive, but, um, yeah. So just keep your keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, I'm also going to be moving soon, so I won't have a computer to access these video files. So I'm trying to get them all rendered out and all sent over. To Nick, so he can have these files because he's the one that does the editing mostly, and he has better editing software, so he has that. I don't know, it's just a lot better, which he's awesome for. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm just trying to give you guys an update on that. If you guys were wondering where I've been, all like ten of you that actually involved with my channel, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> just been working full time, like nonstop, but I actually have a day off to do something. I've been getting stuff packed up and. All that fun stuff, getting my car fixed, first world problems, you know, nothing too notable. But yeah, let's uh, let's get some of these tins open, you know, that'd be great. Let's do that. Open this bullshit. Oh, damn. Well, that's why. Tape on the side, little fuckers. You guys are wondering at the Mewtwo EX tins. I have three of those because my deck is going to involve Mewtwo EX because everybody loves Mewtwo EX. This card is effing powerful. All you need is like one energy and you're dishing out like 200 damage, but let's be serious. I'm not going to spoil what kind of deck I'm building until after it's built, but just know it involves Mewtwo EX. Got a little cute Rayquazas on the side. And a dark rye. So those who don't play the TCG, um, got a little get a little card codes. If you if you do, you already know what these are for. You put these on the card game online and you get I think this is for when you buy a tin and you put in the code, it gives you like the tin card exclusive plus like four packs that come with it. So this is the Mewtwo EX card if you guys don't play. It's got that 170 damage. Got the X balls. Oh, two energy, my bad. Side drive, 120 damage. It's a uh, pretty legit card. Got two packs of Dragon's Exalted, Emerging Powers, and normal black and white set. I know these are like older sets. And I wish I could get some Noble Victors packs because I really wanted to pull Terrakion, so I guess I'm going to have to do that. Looks like I'm spoiling my deck already. Alright. Let's go with the original black and white stuff because it's some old school ass shit. Alright. Fucker. Alright. Got ourselves a Joltik. 
a Solosis, a Woobat, yeah, a Timber, an Oshawott, a uh, Reverse Holographic Scoliopede, not bad. Not really needing any of these cards, but depends. Saw's Buck, another rare card. Nothing, nothing special. A Swoobat, so now I have a Swoobat and a Woobat. Pcom, Book of My Communications, you guys know about that. Which actually I'm going to probably need, so I'll actually put that off to the side. And then a Maractus, nothing special. Let's go with the uh, Emerging Powers, little packs. Got a little cute little Tornadus on there when he was OU. But now he's underused and causing havoc being physical now. I don't I don't get that. Whatever. We got a cotton knee. Oh. Also every pack gets a code too. Put those off to the side. I guess the original black and the white didn't come with them, but everything else past that did. Uh, Pan Poor. Pan Sage. Oh, snap. Getting hardcore. Chub Chew. Cute little, little bear. A Pat Rat. Reverse Hollow. Um, fuck. Drillber? Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't call it on top of my head. That was a neat little holographic design on the card. It's pretty cool. Unpheasant, which is the female version, which isn't as cool, but that's a pretty cool ability. Whatever. Gotharita. Gotharita. Ooh, Whimsy Cut. What's up with all these evolutions in each pack? Like I'm pulling Cottony and then a Whimsy Cut. That's actually not a bad Whimsy Cut. I think that's the kind people use for certain decks. I'm not sure. And then a Lilligant, which I got. Alright, got the first Dragon's Exalted pack, the nice little Gyarados on the front. Maybe I'll pull something cooler. If not, then I blame my terrible luck for letting these tins sit on the counter for like a week and not do anything. But first card, Drifloon. Next one's a Golet. Yeah. Pretty good ability. A fee bass, not bad. Roselia, not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's basic, not surprising. Houndour, yeah, Houndour is pretty good, pretty cool. I got a rag and roller, a little reverse hollow. See that little, see that like cool ass design? It's fucking legit. And look at what we got here. Got an Altaria holographic, not bad. Nice little crazy little line backgrounds. Got the little dragon symbol. If you have a dragon deck, this is a good card because its ability gives your dragon types 20 more damage per attack before applying a weakness and resistance. But then you have to run like these weird dual typing energies. Which I mean, I know a lot of decks do, but it's like water and steel and to do damage. What? Nobody, nobody does that. Um, a throw. Not, nothing too special. Um, the evolution spray, which is kind of it's kind of gimmicky in this metagame right now because a lot of people are just running like Darkrai EX decks, Landorus EX, a lot of basic Pokemon. So there's nothing that's going to be too useful. Um, Bibarel, which requires a lot of energy and doesn't do shit. It puts itself to sleep with the one of its attacks retarded. And then I got a little code card, so. Put that off to the side. The Altaria pull, not bad. I'll probably put that on top. Put that off to the side of my little rare cards, holographic cards pile, if I even pull into anything. So three out of four, two hollows that are rare, so. 
Nothing bad. Nothing bad. All right. Um, last pack from the first. Get that card out of the way. From the first ten. Got magic carp. You know everyone's favorite fish. It has a cool attack if you're really good at getting head. If you know what I mean. I got a gibble, a little dragon type gibble. Right, it's pretty cool. Um, temple, a little smiling ass tadpole. A Dino, nice little German Pokemon. Um, I got a little Feebass here. Another worthless Magikarp type. But I got a Reverse Hollow Gigalith, and that's a rare card. Does 100. 120 damage. Not bad. Does 40 damage to itself. Not bad. Oh, look at what we have here. We got a little holographic slacking. 150 HP. I like that little background, the little holographic thing they got going on. You could do 100 damage to an enemy, but if it's the basic, you can't attack it, which is stupid. But I'll put both of those are holographic on the top there. It's not bad. Um, Audino. Not bad. Um, Bibarel, so another worthless Bibarel again. And then I got a Blend Energy, which might come in handy. I'll put it off to the side, see what my deck requisites include. And that's the first ten. Nothing special. Nothing important, but we did get a couple of good cards, so I'm not going to complain. And I know I can't really pull into a lot of the cards I need, but... I'm lucky enough I'll get some supporters that I could use. If not, I'll just go online and buy them, because I know I can get them for cheap. Especially stuff like... Like Bianca's and Sharon's and stuff. <sighs> Maybe things like really impossible to open. Oops, hitting my table. Like, you look at it and you're like, you know, it looks like it's kind of like an easy-to-tear fabric material. I don't know why I would say fabric, it's paper. But I feel like it's made out of like super recycled paper blended in with steel. <sighs> so um how about them Packers? I'm just kidding guys, I don't I don't really watch that much football. I do kind of follow like the Packers because it's like one of my good friends, he's a really big fan, so I tend to watch it out of respect for him, so. Dent in it. Fuck. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. It's like right. I don't know. It's like right. Where the, I don't know. Right the XP. HP is. It's XP. What the fuck am I talking about? Hello. All right. Got my little TCG code. If you guys play the TCG online, awesome. I I actually do, but I had to buy some cards like you see now to get codes which come in handy, but at the same time, I'm losing money. I, get, I know there's a website where I can buy codes for like 10 cents a pop or something and whatever, which I might do if I'm really looking to get into TCGO. Like, if you guys want me to do a series of playing TCGO with other people, fine. If if not, I won't even touch it. But um, I'm working on making the um, Double Nick Nuzlocke a little bit slower because I know it looks like we've been rushing through. And we have been, and I am saving up for a new computer right now, and the tower alone costs, well, it's going to cost me about 600 bucks. So, if you want to contribute to that, just give me a dollar, man. Just mail me a dollar. You message me, and I'll just send me a dollar. Five dollars, hundred dollars, whatever the hell. Whatever, whatever generous you feeling, just help me out here. Help broke guy out. But, next pack, pants here. This is from the um, original black and white set like last year, beginning of last year or whatever. Um, Joltik. A Psychic Energy? They give energies out in packs? What? I swear to God. Solosis, my little favorite green blob of death. Um, a Blitzel, not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. Perline Reverse Hollow. A nice little holographic Reshiram. Anybody interested in this? I'll do trades. I'll sell it to you. I have Reshiram EX. 
as well, so I might build a Rush Ram deck, maybe a, like a fire type deck. It's not bad. Not a bad card. Buffalo, which I wish it was the other one, because that would come in handy for the deck I'm building. To deal with other EX cards. Uh, Muna. Which is a pretty good card, but you have to set it up. And then Recover. Duosion. I don't know why. His name isn't Recover. His name is Duosion. I'm just being a dumbass. Next is um, the Emerging Powers. Looks like we've got a little uh, Shofu on the front. Ha <laughs> ha, Shofu! No, I'm just kidding, bro. What's happening? Um, he actually has the battle me and him had. He uh, forgot to save the video that we had, so I gave him my file. He's going to do the editing and narrations for me, and I'll have that on my channel. I have him narrating, so it's like a guest narration or something. He's me and him are pretty good. We're not like best friends, but me and him we get along. We get along enough. We talk a lot. We're pretty good friends, I'd say. Got some uh, codes here. Not selling those, buddy. I'm not trading those for the world. Unless you're gonna give me some uh, full arts or something. Some full art Tarakiani axes or something. Um, got Panpour. We got Swaddle here. Nothing important. If you play Steel decks, got a little Clink. Got a Pharaoh Seed, nothing cool, does 20 damage if you're interested. Got a bass killing, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I got another Pharaoh Seed, which this one is holographic. Not really important, but. I actually pulled a Tornadus. Not bad. Doesn't really have the best ability, but I'm gonna put that into my little special pile. Um, Gotharita. Another Basculin with a different art than the other one. That other one was Final Gambit 1, which did like 80 damage. And then I got a Trainer Recycle, not bad. I guess it's a kind of a high risk, high return card. Then we got our little dragons exalted packs. Oh well, I'll probably buy some. Probably buy me like a a few booster packs of shit. Oh goddamn, little victories or something. Or actually, nah. I'm the kind of guy that just buys the cards I need. I don't feel like wasting money trying to risk saving money when it could just have it. Whatever. Um, dragon exalted. I got a weasel. Cute little weasel card. Um, an Aeron card, not bad. 30 damage, whatever, does damage to itself. Bullshit. Got a Wurmple, everybody's favorite little worm. Got a Vulpix, you know, the girls love Vulpix. I'll give that to a girl for free if she gives me, like, a high five or something. Uh, Swablu. Maybe like Swablu. The same goddamn Bibrol, but this time it's holographic, which makes it a little bit more special. Not bad. I got an Agron. Nice little holographic. I like how they did that. It's all like. Just makes it look all hardcore. And if you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you can discard the top three ca cards from your opponent's deck. So if you're trying to run a deck eater, aim for Agron. Especially if you have some rare candies. Um, a Palpy Toad. Fucking genital wart looking motherfucker. And. A Floatzel. That's actually ni nice little art there. Just is nothing special with its abilities, it just does standard damage. So. Not bad. And a Bulldor. So honestly, I could build a Gigalith deck. If it was that good, but I'm not sure. And then I got my little code card. Alright, not bad. Another Dragon's Exalted. Let's see what we can get. Give me some Rayquazas. Give me some... Give me an EX card. Give me a... Give me a full art card. Some Ultra Rares. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. <laughs> Last pack of this one. We got a Wurmple. Another Vulpix. 
do do do. The stack's getting kind of tall now. Each pack comes with like 10 cards or something. Swablu. Yeah. Another Swablu. Electric. A little magic carp here. Not bad. Um, we got Mary. A little holographic, little Mary. A little cute Mary. <laughs> Shed Enja, the ultimate troll card. Um, Vigoroth. Nothing important. That was my rare card. Uh, Shed Ninja. That's ability, you don't get any. You're, if you knock him out, you don't get a prize for it, so I guess that's kind of funny. You got a sock and a throw. Not bad. And then. I got a Gabite. Not bad. Oh, I like the little dragon thing. That's got like stupid ass energy uses, like water and fighting. I'm not going to mix those two together anytime soon. Card. Card codes, not bad. Well, that was the second tin. Nothing impressive, but hey, I'm not here to impress. I'm just here to give you guys a little update, have a little fun, a little pack full. I like some cards. If you guys, if you guys have any cards that you don't want or want to trade, let me know. I'm looking for track Yanni axes. I'm looking for. The NVI or the Noble Victories Tracheon that has Retaliate and stuff like that. Yeah. I have one copy of that, which I might as well use to build my deck, so I don't have to spend any extra money. I got that from Lucky Tin, so who's complaining? Not this guy. My uh, third little Mewtwo EX here. It's got a cool little art. They made a lot of different variations of it. They even made like a jumbo card and I'm pretty sure if you guys follow it, you already know what I'm talking about. You want me to shut up about it? You just want to see what cards are, kind of cards I'm pulling? Which is totally fine by me, but <sighs> I need to keep myself entertained as well. Alright, the first black and white pack, which didn't get any TCGO cards. I thought they would, with Me2X, since it was from like a, a newer thing. It was gonna have a little bit better pack set, but I guess not. Uh, switch comes in handy, I guess. Let's set up, set that off to the side. Uh, go over my uh, deck list later and see what I need. Timber. Oh, you guys can't see it. Timber. Yeah. Got a little hand pour. Fighting energy, which I actually need those, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. Um, got a purr lion here. It's got a little, like, I don't know, it's, it's like a sex appeal thing. I'm not even sure. Weird. I got an energy retrieval. Not bad. It's hot reverse holographic. Which is going to come in handy. I'm pretty sure I need that for my deck. Um, got a little scoliopede here. The same one from earlier, which isn't reverse holographic, but whatever. Get a little Muna again. A little pink piggy. A full heal, which I don't really think they are that important to the current metagame. Everything's dying really fast. It's fine. Pretty fast paced metagame. And then a Zep Striker, which isn't bad. I think the last time I really played the TCG was in like the fourth gen. Like Diamond and Pearl just came out. And. I don't know, I pulled some good cards. I pulled like Palkia and Manaphy and some good cards. Nothing nothing cool. Nothing like really cool like Pokemon Star or level X's or anything. I didn't really get that into it, but I bought some just to see what I could get and try to get into it, but then I kinda just dropped off after I bought those packs. And I still have a bunch of original cards. Like if you guys want to see some of the original stuff I have. I'll show you that. I have uh, a misprint of Fable. I've got Blastoise, Venusaur, Chansey. A lot of the f the first base stuff. But I don't have I don't have Charizard. But I'm not I'm not gonna spend four hundred dollars to get one either. So fuck that. Um, the next one was the Emerging Powers pack, and we got a Bullaby here. 
and another per lion, which is saying plow me in the ass because I'm a per lion. What the fuck is up with these designs? Let me tell you, Japanese people, you guys are weird as fuck sometimes. You guys are weird as fuck sometimes. Let me tell you. And then I got a little drill bar here. Not bad. Uh, it's a waddle. Little, little guy. Little sand dial. His little cool glasses kind of face. But not bad. Got a Galfantula. Ooh, look at that. It's a little sparkly Terrakion. Unfortunately, this isn't the one I was talking about. This is the Boulder Crush Sacred Sword one, which isn't that as good as the Retaliate. And I think the other one's like Land Crush or something. I think that's what it is, Land Crush Drakions. Still, not bad, not bad. I'm probably, uh, if you guys are looking for that for collection or trade, I'll definitely trade you that. Um, Watch Hog, nothing cool there. Put this off in my little sparkly card pile. Uh, Sigilyph, not bad. It's got a nice little, um, I guess how I call it like an indirect type of attack where you can just put damage to any Pokemon you want. Not cool, not bad. Recycle again, and then like I said, another gimmicky card. And TCG card codes. Bunch of fun. We got two more packs to go. And I'll probably be sorting my deck out from there. And I have a lot, little nice surprise at the end. So I mean, nothing too like noteworthy, I guess. But I think it was really nice, and I think it's worth suggesting bringing it up in the video. But one of the dragon, I think it's dragon exalted. Yeah. So back to that. Got the Mary. Got the magic art. The hop it. Little ball toy here. Ball toys are cool. I like using clay dolls back in my fourth gen. Electric. Cool. Um, another gibble with little dragons. Look at that little dragon sign. It's pretty cool. Nice little holographic type thing. Another Agron. Like a, if you're trying to deck some people, not bad. You're going the right. You're going the right path. Got Cascoon here if you're looking to make some dust oxes. A throw. How much? Look how many energies you use. Like, let's do four for a 70 minus. Or no, that's 70 plus. 70 minus is sock, sorry. You'd only do 90 damage at the most with it, but in return you have to do damage to yourself. Not really like good. Gabite, good for, for running dragon decks, especially if you're playing uh, Rayquaza Alterias and stuff like that. Not bad. Alright, the final pack. Hopefully I can get something really cool. If not, then whatever. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a little fun with this. We got a key bone here. We'll zoom in for you. Headbutt. This 20 damage with... It's called beat. Just beat. Nothing important. No bone meringue. Nothing. Mm, Gotharita here. I mean, Gathita, sorry. Not a bad little card, you can reorganize your deck. A little Gallet. It looks so sad. <laughs> you got a little Electric. You got a little Dino. Dino. Weird. Oh, reverse hollow Roselia. Little happy face. Does some cool stuff. You know what it is, bros. Hound Doom. Most badass little dark type ever. Fuck Umbreon. Fuck all everything else. Hound Doom is where it's at. For sure. For sure. See Leo. The stupid ass face. Just look at him. Like, yeah. 40 damage for 3 energy. Lyra on, so if, like I said, if I'm looking to build that aggro, I just get some cards. Um, Bigger off, last card but not least, so nothing too special. I mean, the Hound Doom is pretty cool, but wasn't really high holographic or anything. And then got my little card pack codes. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the cards that I pulled. I'm wasting your time.
sorry. Um, if you guys have any, like, Trakion EX, um, the Retaliate Trakions, which are from, I'm sorry, from Noble Victory, my hair is in my face, my hair is in my face, <laughs> sorry, um, Trakion EX is the full arts, I don't care, they don't have to be full arts, just as long as they're EX, pump up, smash kind, um, the um, noble, noble Victories, I need, like, one copy of that, which, I mean, I could buy for, like, Ten bucks, honestly. But if you have them willing to trade, great. I'll work something out with you. We can do something to the mail. I'll ship it to you. Whatever you want to do. Um, that I already have my Me Two EXs. Maybe a Lander CX. Maybe one copy of that. If anything, I'll have to see what's going up with that. And then the rest, I should be able to just get myself because they're not that expensive. Like. I would say 20 cents a copy, so I can build the rest of my deck with like 20 bucks if I need to. It's just the Landers EXs and then the tr two Terrakion EXs, and then the um, Noble Victories Terrakion with Retaliate and the Land Crush. Those all run like, well, that one's 10 bucks, but the f the EXs are like 25 bucks, and then like. If I'm trying to get Lander CX, that's like 40 or something. I don't even know. I think it's since it's really popular right now, it's, it's got a pretty good hot price tag. Like the reason why we got these Me Two EX cards from the tins is because the tins were like 15 bucks. So this card's not that expensive. But if I were trying to buy the regular ones from a different set, like at the full arts, even like the full arts are cheaper than the regular ver variants, and that's still like 70 bucks a card. And then I'll feel like spending like two hundred and ten dollars on three cards, and I can just get three of them for like fifty, sixty bucks respectively, plus get like twelve packs. So that's a good trade on my part. And I didn't pull that bad of cards, honestly. I pulled a couple good ones, so I don't know. But if you guys have that stuff and will to trade, great. Um, I'm just working on the landers, not only really landers, but uh, a Terrakion uh, Mewtwo deck right now. Which is going to be fun, I think. But, I'll see what's up with that. If you have those cards, again, sorry for like repeating it 20 times. Just let me know. You know, send me a comment, send me a message, send me something. I'm not going to be complaining. I'm trying to work with you here. I haven't shaved in like two weeks. I don't really care. I've been lazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so expect some more Double Nick Nuzlocke's coming really soon. Expect m a couple more battle videos coming. I've got like three saved up that I have to do some narrations over. And if you do play TCG, let me know if you have some cards willing to trade. I'm definitely looking for those cards that I've already mentioned. And if you guys have anything like suggestions on what decks you'd like for me to build and play with, also send me that. I've I have, I have a good I have a good website I like to refer to for current metagame decks and stuff, so I know what to look out for threat wise. And if something interests me, I know how to build the deck. And if I don't like what I see, I can look for alternatives and try to throw them in there. Which is what I'm going to be doing as well. And yeah. But before I go, I just wanted to show you the thing I got in the mail as well. I ordered those three tins and I got them. And then uh, I got these little um, card sleeves. I got a little keep on here. If you guys want that, well, I might just use it. It's 15% uh, off, so I might just pop that. But on the other side, it was they got a little note that says, um, I can't really read it. It says, but uh, bonus, God bless you. And it's uh, had a little smiley face, and it's from Janet. So whoever Janet is, I hope you see this, and I really want to thank you. That really made me a lot happier getting that in the mail. It's really nice of you to just throw in free card sleeves. And I'm not even sure if that was promotional or if you just did that from the generosity of your heart. But, uh, again, really, thank you, Janet. You are really fantastic. And if this is enough to build a deck out of, no big deal. I actually bought card sleeves, and I didn't know I was going to get these in the mail, surprisingly. So I have the card sleeves, and I'm still going to have these, and I'm still going to use these to hold some of my little holographic cards in. So thank you very much. You're helping me keep my cards in good condition. Perfect mint condition, I should say. And... 
if you guys go to, you know, Stop to Shop, that's where I get my cards sometimes. Poke orders, like, I like to go there too. Um, go there and just say, hey, Janet's awesome. From Nick. I say it myself, and I want to say it again. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I just, you know, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. If you guys are really waiting for more episodes, I want to keep the suspense building. And I know that we've been really running fast through that game, and I've been trying to stall it out so I can get to the point where I can make videos at a better quality and a little bit slower, at a little slower speed, so it looks so you guys can kind of catch the action rather than just like watching people just speed run it. You can kind of just be in the game yourself, basically. I want to get a more cr like more um, interactive crowd going, which would be great. So. Thank you guys again for watching. You know, just like the video, subscribe, spread my channel like cancer. Cancer's not funny, but do it anyways. That's really appreciative. Um, I'm also going to start doing a video project about competitive battling. I've got a couple people who watch my stuff. I'm not sure if they're from Shofu's fans or what, but they uh, they're asking me how how to get better at it. How can they compete? And I always like to see new competitors rise up in the metagame, and I want I would like to see more faces around in <laughs> that you know YouTube and everything, which would be great. Um, so definitely, I'm definitely gonna do that. If you guys are interested, um, I'll show I'll give you guys like a rundown and like the advanced stuff, metagames stuff like that, tier lists, and then. Also, if you guys do use a program like Pokegen and stuff, or you don't use Pokegen and you like to know more, I'll probably do a tutorial on how to do that as well, because it's a pretty simple program, and if you're trying to do competitive battling, it's going to be like 3 million times easier to get your teams ready, because you have what you need at your disposal, like right at your fingertips, basically, you just point and click, done, boom. So, thanks Janet, again, like for the millionth time, you are fantastic, and this little gift in the mail as a bonus like made my night and even if you wrote on the back of a return slip I'm not even gonna return these I've already opened them obviously <laughs> if Janet's somehow watching this I'm sorry but whatever you're fantastic I love you um thank you subscribers for watching thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for interacting with me it's given it I wouldn't say it's like helping me benefit my channel I mean it is in a way I guess it's not like I'm changing anything aesthetically for any you guys but you guys have given me some video ideas you guys have given me some good feedback a lot of positive feedback and I'm assuming you guys want to see more so I'm definitely gonna give that to you I am also trying to get my hands on an HD PVR either version 1 or 2 if I have to buy a brand new I might have to but um I want to give you guys some, maybe some like Black Ops 2 stuff if you're into that. Maybe some Halo 4 videos I've got saved to show you some funny stuff. Maybe show you some good matches I've had. Just kind of throw that in the mix because, you know, I'm a gamer. I like to play a lot of different stuff. Um, I really want to do a Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door playthrough. And I love that game to, or like, fucking hell and back a million times. It is like the best RPG I've played in a long time. And I'll probably, and if you guys never played it, then I'll definitely do a, a walkthrough just for you guys. Um, because I have a GameCube, and I know an HD PVR can record that shit. <laughs> if not, then I'd feel bad, but it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to get off here, and you guys have a wonderful time watching whatever I have uploaded and whatever else you have subscribed to. So, thanks again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.